I really wanted to know because as you know I always say you don't know what you don't know so I asked the couple do dragons really exist and they both looked at each other and then they looked at me and then they said oh yes and then I smiled and I said really and they said yeah and I said like how and then they said that well where do you think Walt Disney got his ideas for all the movies where do you think all these um stories came from like with Sleeping Beauty and the Princess of Battle the Dragons and dra Dragons this Dragons that and they said, where do you think these stories came from? And paintings of dragons. And why do you think in the Chinese culture, they celebrate the dragon every new year? And I just said, well, isn't that just part of their mythology? Or just their tradition? And then they asked me, well, where does the tradition stem from? Is it just made up? Did somebody one day just say, hey, let's, let's come up with this type of looking creature and let's call it a dragon and let's have that as our symbol of entering the new year. And then it made me think. And then they told me that dragons have always existed.
she was sitting, she felt this poof energy just come on to her. Like, it was like a dog that jumped on her lap. And she said that it was heavy. And it stayed there. And then it went away. And then I said, well, what was that? What, what, what? What happened? And then she looked at me and she said, It was a baby dragon. And I was like, What? A baby dragon? What does that even mean? And then she said, There are dragons that are around us. And they protect us. They just, they're just around and she said that it was around the springtime I guess or summer and she said that it was a baby dragon and often when there's a thunderstorm well obviously the dragons can't be flying around so they have to find a place to to rest or to, to hang out and she said that this baby dragon must have found its way into through the balcony into the penthouse because of the glass door and the screen being opened. And then I said, what? And then I said, did you see the dragon? They didn't say anything. And then she told me that a couple days later, um, you know, lots of strange things happen to this couple, but they don't think it's strange at all. They just accept it because apparently they are in the know of what I don't know. So then she told me that a couple of days later, um, her husband entered the room and her husband told me, because he was there at the time, he said that he was in the room, he went, he went into their bedroom and they have this big king size bed and the bed is always made. Like it's got a nice duvet and a duvet cover and it's stretched out so there's no wrinkles or or anything. So he said that he went into the room and he saw on the bed an impression, an imprint that was like, like it was like somebody there, but nobody was there. And then he went and he called his wife to come and look. And then she looked and she said she placed her hands on the bed and she kind of like went over it. And she said that where the imprint was, her hands left it, meaning that there was something there and her hands was just going over it with like the, the contour of it. And then I was like, whoa. And then she said that a couple of hours later, her girlfriend, her girlfriend came by and they told her girlfriend, look at the bedroom. So one of their friends went into the bedroom and saw the imprint and did the same thing to their hand to the hand and they outlined the contour of whatever it was on the bed and then I said what was on the bed and then they looked at me and said the dragon and I said what dragon and then they said the baby dragon that came in that stormy night and I was like what what do you mean you mean the baby dragon was living with you guys? And they said, we don't know. But that time, there was, th the baby dragon was on the bed. And I was like, mm -hmm. whatever, right? So, a year later, I was living in the same building, but I was in a loft in, uh, in another um, part of the building. And I was alone, and I was working, and I was working all day, and there's no curtains, I had no curtains in my apartment, so, for, so I had the sunlight, and I was working with the sunlight, and by the time it got to be like 10, like 10 o'clock, 10.30, it, start, it was already dark, so I didn't turn on the lights because I had been working all day in the living room on the couch with my laptop on a table so basically there was no lights except the light from my laptop now the windows were open even though it was hot summer i like to keep 
was like, oh wow, I, I love it. I love when it's just about to rain, but I was still working in my laptop. Now, earlier, um, I went to the subway. Uh, I went to the st- I went to Subway. It's a restaurant that sells sandwiches with um, you know cold cuts and and meatballs, and you can get a tuna sandwich and all that stuff. So earlier, I went across the street. I'm not gonna be scared. So 
I just kept working away and then it started to rain like gently and, and consist consistently and I always like the sound of rain so then that kind of like soothed me and then I guess I forgot about whatever I had experienced 30 minutes earlier or an hour so I said to myself you know I'm gonna get a cookie so I reached over to the corner of the couch where the L met, like the, the, the like it forms the L, that corner part. And I reached over and I grabbed the container and I pulled it closer to me because I was so happy. I'm going to get, I'm going to eat the last piece of the Smarty cookie. And I looked and it was, there was no Smarty cookie. And I was like, what? What? And I looked again, and there wasn't any Smarty cookie. So technically, I should have had nine cookies, and one of them at the top was this was the last Smarty cookie because I only bought two, and I ate one already, and I was saving the other one because that was my favorite. And after experiencing what I had experienced, I was like, I gotta eat a Smarty cookie. But it was not there. And then I started to like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And then I remembered the dragon. The baby dragon that came into that couple's penthouse when it was a rainy, stormy night. And I was like, oh my god, did a dragon just come into my apartment? And I was like... Huh, well, whatever, right? So, I just, you know, I got ready to go to bed and the evening was normal as usual other than that big gush of pressure that I felt coming in to the living room, to the window and this presence that just swooped behind the couch and I felt it go onto the couch and then my missing Smarty cookie. So the next day, I made sure to go down to the crystal shop. And I saw the, the owner, the man. And I said to the man, Guess what happened last night? And he said, You guess what happened last night? And I go, What are you talking about? And then he said, Oh, you should have come to the store yesterday. And I said, why? What happened? And he said, well, we had some visitor, visitors over from wherever, like out of town. And they always come every summer. And they came to the store. And we were standing around the bookshelf just talking. And then all of a sudden, the dragon came. And he just came into the store and just whooshed right through the store. And, and he hit the bookshelves. And all the books just fell. And I'm like, what? And he said, oh yeah, the dragon just came in. And I'm so glad it was the only people in the store was me, my wife, and, and our friends from out of town. Because if it was anybody else, like anyone else, they would have been very, very scared. And they might have, they would probably would run out of the store and never come back again. But I'm glad that it was just our out of town friends because they're used to stuff like that. And I was like, what do you mean? What are you saying? And then he said, the dragon came yesterday and, and he knocked over the bookshelf. And I was like, oh my god. And then that's when I told him what happened that evening, that the, the evening before. And I said, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. And this is what I experienced. It was a gush of wind and I felt the pressure coming through the window into my living room. So much so that it kind of like pushed me a little bit, like one inch over, like, and then I felt this pressure behind the couch, and then I felt something go on to the couch, and then my smarty cookie was missing. And he just looked at me, and then I said, do you think that was the dragon? And then he just said, maybe. Like, he just seemed so calm, like he didn't encourage me or anything, he just said, maybe. And I go, but my smarty cookie was missing. And then he said, yeah, they like sweets. And that's all he said. And then I said, if that, do you think that was the dragon that 
said 